Hey, it's Dina. Happy Thursday. You wouldn't think I'd be happy because look at all this laundry I have. But today I'm going to show you how to tame the laundry monster. It's a lot easier than you think. Does it surprise you that my laundry room looks like this? I have set up systems in my laundry room and in my life so that even though my laundry may be piled like this, I can get this untangled and figured out lickety split. So here's the cool thing about using only three containers and keeping it very simple. You can give your children the task of separating the laundry. If you just have three containers, it's easy. You know, a confused mind says no. It does, and it doesn't matter if it's a math problem or sorting the laundry. If your mind gets confused, it's gonna say, no way, Jose, I'm gonna go read a magazine because I don't wanna deal with this. So don't complicate it. Three bins, easy to sort, so easy a five-year-old could do it. I'm gonna show you how I do it because my kids are at school today, those lucky ducks. All right, I wish I could say that I have a beautiful laundry room that is Pinterest worthy, but I don't. I have my little laundry room with my little chimpanzee listening to headphones. And um, I'm gonna show you really quickly, my computer doesn't fall, how I sort my laundry. You ready? Here we go. I'm gonna use my three bins. Why don't you time me? Okay, that didn't take long and it wasn't too painful. The next thing I'm gonna do is a load of clothes. I separated everything into categories. I put those categories into containers. Are you seeing a theme here? Categories, containers. So now I'm gonna take one of those categories and process it. Okay, to make it really simple for anybody to do laundry in this room besides me, I have, here we go again with our containers, I have a little bin called deter, apparently the bin's called detergent. Um, that's pretty fancy, don't you think? We're missing our R. No big whoop, we know what it is. Do you remember how my white bucket was like out of control? I just am doing a load of towels and now it is pared down and it's not so overwhelming. Now, I can get all of this laundry done in an afternoon. I don't like to do it on Saturdays because Saturdays and Sundays I really do like to relax and have that time for myself. So I will in the morning before I go to work, sometimes I'll throw in a load of clothes. When I get home, I throw it into the dryer. When stuff is dry and I take it out of the dryer, let me show you what I do next. Okay, when I take things out of the dryer, what I do is right away, I separate it into what? You guessed it, containers, but everybody in my family has their own laundry container. Clothes come out of the dryer. I just put their clean clothes in their laundry baskets. I don't fold them. And then here's what we do at Casa Award. Every Wednesday night, we turn on a TV show that we like after dinner, and my hair is looking lovely. Um, but then we just sit around and we have our laundry folding party. So everybody folds their own clothes, and everybody puts their own clothes away. For those kids of mine who don't like to fold their clothes, no worries. I just give them hangers and say, you know what? Don't worry about folding them. Just put them on these hangers and we'll put them right in your closet. And they do. This really saves me a lot of time and a lot of headache because I'm not the one in charge of doing every last speck of laundry in my household. When I used to do that, I used to cry a lot. Well, 
My laundry is downstairs cranking away. My laundry room floor is no longer buried. And I know that when that laundry comes out of the dryer, I don't have to be the one responsible for folding it all and putting it all away. What am I gonna do with my time? <sighs> Cheers, I'll see you next week.